Hey so much, today I'm going to be doing a highly requested video on how I make so much simoleons, life points, social points and just level it up quicker so in this video there are going to be five stages the first stage is going to be simoleons, second stage is life points, third stage is social points fourth stage is how to get XP and fifth stage is just the mix because sometimes for example like the competition one they have different types of um, like rewards such as social points no not social points, life points and simoleons so I'm going to be walking through five stages with you guys so let's get started So the first way of making Simoleons is going on to the Mysterious Island. Now you have to do the Mysterious Island quest before doing this and you also have to do the Bingo quest I believe. And what you're going to do is go into this slot area and then there should be this place that isn't built. You're going to tap on it and you're going to build it depending on your time value. Mine costs 500,000 to make so I built it and once it's done you're going to tap on it and mine says that there are no running because I already did one previously. So there should be this button once you tap it and it should say 15,000 Simoleons. You're going to have to select a senior to do this. And once they're done after 24 hours, they should give you a prize of 15,000 simoleons. That's what I always get. So the next method is to collect your daily rewards. What you're going to do is you see this um, daily reward box. It would be in different styles. Since this is only Pro Skater Dreampad, I have this, I believe, monster box. I'm not really sure, but there should be this envelope on top of it. And you're going to tap on it, and there should be this reward. I get 10 million plus VIP 1 reward, which equals 11 million every day. So... It is good to claim it, I'm not sure because before on when I was level 34 it gave me 7,000 and this depends on your time value, if you have a time value of 50 million I believe you get 100,000, I'm not really sure because my time value is 2 billion and yeah so that is another way of making simoleons. So this next cheat is the high chat cheat, now I'm pretty sure loads of people in the same world know about this cheat, it came out around 2 or 3 months ago, I'm not really sure but it came out around that last update so in order to do this cheat you have to have completed the 90 knows best quest, the two and a half sims and you have to build the children place so otherwise you won't be able to do this cheat so if you haven't already go ahead and do this quest to do this cheat so this cheat I'm not really sure if they will revoke it or take it down in the next update the next update is the spa update which is I believe in two days on Instagram Fire Monkeys let everyone know about when the next update is coming so I'm not really sure when this will be around I'll leave in the description box below if it is still around or not but what you're going to do you're going to scroll over on the info section till you find this high chair the white one which has 10 social points now the bottom right corner there is this logo of simoleons and low simoleons logos simoleons and life points and there is no social point so you can just tap it and buy it for 10 social points but you have to have zero sp otherwise if you have like 500 like my old world and buy over a thousand then all of it will go away as you can see i'm just going to show you again because i have unlimited your social points do go down but the good thing is your time value goes up and you can go to the next reward right now i have two billion and i don't need any more because i'm at the highest one the maximum one so if you want more simoleons then you're going to go into your home and go into the furniture area go into inventory and then go into the infant section so let me just do it right now so infants, then you're going to find the high chair which is over here and you can sell it for 500 simoleons and you can carry on doing this but do not buy it in the actual store in this um, sim area otherwise it does take away 10 social points let me just place it over here see it puts 10 away so just go into the children play store so the next method to make loads of simoleons is the simoleon sprout now before you do this you have to complete the money grows on trees quest otherwise you cannot do this so what you're going to do is select a sim and tap on the garden plot and it is this one it costs 250 simoleons it comes every four hours and what this does is it gives you prizes if you get three pumpkins you get 15,000 simoleons three eggplants or aubergines you get 5,000 three peppers equals 2,500 and if you get a random one it gives you 350 so I'm just going to go ahead and do it right now so I got a pepper, a pumpkin, and a eggplant. So that equals 350 simoleons. So you just get 100 extra simoleons. And yeah, so it comes every four hours. You can use your life points, but if you want to save up, then you can just wait four hours. So this stage is now for the life points. So the first one being doing the cooking hobby, what you're going to do is select the sim. You have to have a cooker and the um, toaster. And before you do this, you have to complete the, um, I think it's the cooking, it's something quest, it's like a hover bread something quest, because I haven't done it in ages, but it is a cooking hobby, it is the first quest, 
you ever do it in the full game. So what you're going to do is tap on your Kaka, select Cheese and Toast, which is the quickest one, and once they are done, you're just going to tap on this icon above the head, and it gives you a prize. For me, I got, I don't know what I got, because she hasn't, like, done it, but, yeah, so you get a prize. For example, you're going to go into the cooking hobby, and first, this is how your grid looks like before you do anything. You get a icon with three chef boards. I already completed that, so I clicked refresh collection, and now it should say you've got five life points. You can do this for all hobbies, not only the cooking one. There are so much hobbies like the archery, bowling, and so much they give you loads of life points. So, five life points for the ghost hunter, five life points for the breakdancing hobby, five, not five, three life points for the archery, broomstick flank is five life points, and bowling hobby is five life points. So, you can do this throughout the entire hobby selection. It gives you so, so much life points. I did that in my previous world, and I got so, so much um, life points, which is a good thing. So, this is another way of getting loads of life points so the next way of making loads of life points is leveling up now in my previous game i got these prizes from level 1 to 10 i got one life point from level 10 to 18 i got two from level 18 to 25 i got three life points from 25 to level 32 i got four life points from 32 to 37 i got four i mean five life points from 37 to 55 i got six life points now this came for me in the game. I'm not sure how it's going to work for you guys. Probably you guys are going to get 1 to 18. That is what came in the recent update. In the um, East update, some of you guys told me. But in my previous one, which I got in the Romantic Island, that is how I got mine from level 1 to 10. I got 1 life points and so on. So this next stage is the social point stage, which is the third stage of the game. So there is only one social point um, trick that I got on my list, and that is completing the... Um, social tasks, so what you're going to do is tap on this button that says two active tasks for me. It could say five to six active tasks, depending on which quest you're doing. I completed all of mine, so you're going to tap on it and it says social tasks. You're going to tap on it and it says to do what it tells you to do. So I used to do this in my previous world, but now in this world I have unlimited points, unlimited money and everything. So you can go ahead and do this if you would like to make loads of social points. This also gives you XP, so yeah. So this stage is the XP stage, and we have one more stage to go after this one. So for this one, you need a infant and a baby's court. So if you haven't done the two and a half sims quest, go ahead and do it because you need an infant for this. So what you're going to do is tap on your infant, and while they're in the court, you're going to tap on the infant again. And you can either make them inspired. If you make them inspired, it gives you more XP, I believe. So if they're not inspired, they don't get as much XP, but if they're inspired, you get... 2706 XP, this is a good way of leveling up, and you can just go ahead and it gives you the XP straight away. So this is another way of leveling up. So this is the final stage and fifth stage. This stage covers social points, um, simoleons, life points, and XP. This is a mix of them. Since they don't have their own one, they are all put together. So the first one is collect your party boat, and this is a 24-hour reward you get these every 24 hours the thing is that you need neighbors for this if you don't have a neighbor then the game only gives you one neighbor so i have 74 neighbors and if you have one neighbor it only gives you one box if you have three i believe it gives you a second seven neighbors gives you three boxes and 12 gives you four and so on so this can give you money and um life points so this is also a way of making loads of Simoleons and life points. The next way of making simoleons and XP is collect your daily reward. Well, not daily reward, town value. So, as you can see, I have town value rewards everywhere. What you're going to do is just tap on it, and even if it's a little bit, even if it's 235 um, simoleons, 10 simoleons, if you carry on doing that, then there is a chance that you can get up to 1 million simoleons if you do this throughout a year or so. And yes, yeah, so this is just a good method. The good way, the best way to make it is to have the mysterious island built which gives you another set of houses and land to build and then you can create more um like add more stuff into the town and then you can get your xp rewards so as you can see i have some of them i have the carnival the pet area and this is also another way of making loads of simoleons and leveling up quicker so the next way of making simoleons and leveling up quicker is send your sims to work. So right now I have my sims sent to work and depending on their stage, um, there are stages from level 1 to 5. If you're on level 5 it gives you more simoleons and if you're on level 1 it gives you less simoleons. So 
I'm on level 1 because I don't usually send my sims to her because I have loads of um, life points and everything. But if your sims are inspired, then they get double the amount of money they get, which is a good thing. So always inspire your sims. And plus, if you have the monuments in the um, mysterious island, then that gives you more XP. So for example, in Hannah Marin, I got the 575 XP from the Flames of Wisdom. And yeah, so also make sure to build the Mysterious Island uh, Monuments because they will also give you some rewards while doing some, um, like doing some, I'm just going to say doing some stuff in the game like cleaning, cooking, watching TV. So always build that. So the next way of making some millions of life points is tap on the active task area and then there should be this button that says weekly tasks. What you're going to do is tap on it and then there should be this icon at the bottom that tells you your progress. So the first one which has that one simoleon coin equals 25% and that gives you I believe 1,500 simoleons or 1,000 simoleons. And this is how it looks like. Then the middle one which is 50% gives you 3,000 simoleons. And this is how it looks like as well. The life point one which is 75% gives you 3 life points. And here is the life point price. And the key which equals 100%. And this is the final price. So the next best method to get simoleons and life points and XP and social points is tap on this active tasks area and then there should be this button on the top left corner. What you're going to do is tap on it and then it gives you a price. So right now I get 720 XP if I watch this. The next one gives you 2130 simoleons. It depends on your time value. So since I have 2 billion I get the most one which is 2130. Now in this I got, um, it was 2140 XP. 6,000 um, simoleons, 2 life points, 1 social point and this is a good way of saving up on simoleons and life points and social points so you can go ahead and do this I usually don't do this because I have unlimited things in the game like I said earlier so the next method is to make your sims plant carrots and corn while you're awake so let's say if I have school today and I wake up 30 minutes before I have to leave the house I usually make my sims plant corn and carrot and while they're planting, I just usually go on social media, watch YouTube videos until they are done. So, this is like my workstation. So, it depends if your sims are inspired. I get double the amount. So, I got 30. Um, usually, it gives you 32 XP, I think. Not 32 XP, 32 simoleons. If you're not inspired, but if you're inspired, you get 48. And then the next stage is the carrots one. So, this is how it looks like. Once you're inspired, once again, it gives you. Double the amount, so 148 simoleons and 148 um, XP. So the best deal has to be the carrots if your sins are inspired. And once you have to leave for school, you can either do garlic or beans. Garlic gives you the most XP, so let me just scroll down until I find it. So the garlic gives you 1,948 XP, depending if your sim is inspired or not. And the beans gives you 1,260 simoleons. So if you'd like to level up quicker, then do the garlic. For this next method, you need to have a competition center built. This is right next to the supermarket. Well, it's under the supermarket, next to the football stadium and next to the science laboratory area. So what this competition thing does is it selects a competition for you and your sims to take part in. So for example, I'm doing the storytelling competition and... Under it, there is a selection of prizes that you will get. So first place, you get three life points. Second place, you get one life point, and so on. So none of my sims are taking part in this or level six in this. I'm just going to select Hannah Marin. So if your sims are level six to level six in the um, competition, then they might have a chance of getting first place to fourth place. So I usually get first place to second place if my sims are level five to six. So make sure your sims are on level six. Just to let you know that there can be repeats just like the special events such as the Baby Ones event and the Chocolatier Quest. So as you can see, I got the 4th place medal which is 500 simoleons to 500 XP. And that is pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you all enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also comment down below what other videos I should do next time in the future. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. bye, bye, bye.